Good morning, this is Andy Pennick with the Department of Administrative Services, State Purchasing Division, Goods Category. And I welcome you to today's webinar for bread and related bakery products. We have a high number of registers, so we're excited, looking forward to bringing you uh, new products and great pricing for your agencies. I'm joined with Mr. Uh, Billy Gilbert, who's on my team as well. Say hello, Billy. Hey, how you doing? Thank you all for uh, taking uh, time out of your busy schedule to join us for this informational webinar. If you would, we'll have a welcome to the webinar. You can see the opening page there. We'll go to the next slide. And I believe you can write in questions. And we'll see if we can answer those. We will have a question and answer session at the end. I'll try not to take too much of your time. This is the general announcement. Uh, we're issuing information regarding a new mandatory statewide contract that's mandatory for all state agencies, universities, and colleges awarded by category for bread and related bakery products, statewide contract. 9999-SPD, which stands for State Purchasing Division, 000091-001 is for Flowers Baking Company, and 002 is for Earth Grains Baking Company. The implementation date of this new contract is June 1, 2013. Uh, so on that day and past, you'll be able to place orders uh, on this contract. If you have orders in place with the current supplier, they will deliver uh, so you won't have a gap in any menu. We'll go over that as well. Look here at slide four. I'm Andy Kennick. I'm here in the West Tower at the State Purchasing across from the Capitol. The category manager is Dr. Carl Hall. I have with us the two supplier representatives. One is Mr. Steve Archer. Steve, you want to say hello? Hello, I'm Steve Archer. I'm the uh, director with Flowers Baking Company and the account rep for the state of Georgia. Steve, I believe you have, what, 31, 33 years of experience? 43. 43 years of experience. So he's the new kid on the block. And then we have Ms. Siobhan Daniels. You say hello, Siobhan. Good morning, everyone. I'm Siobhan Daniels. I'm the account manager for Earth Grains Baking Company, and I have 10 years of experience. Good. Earth Grains Baking Company is owned by Bimbo Bakery, and uh, it's an extensive line of high-quality breads as well as flowers. Some key points and benefits to the contract, effective date is June 1. We have six different categories, which we'll cover, that's been divided between these two suppliers. This new contract is not divided regionally, as was the previous contract. We've done this to make ordering easier, uh, less confusing. So it's the same price for one loaf of bread if you're in Rome or Americas or Savannah or way up in Blue Ridge. It's same price. Both suppliers deliver statewide. We have 46 products on our core list. and We develop the core list through the use of a cross-functional team. Many are on this call here uh, where we ask nutritionists, um, the people that actually order the bread, use the bread, menu planners, directors, uh, what they wanted and how they wanted it delivered and how they wanted it packaged. So we did not develop this, just uh, closed up in a cubicle somewhere. Uh, we had a lot of input, which we appreciate, from the field. Uh, the old contract had 30 products. This one has an additional 16. We have an extensive non-core list as well, 93 products, which we'll go over. And uh, you have the ability to submit orders directly with your delivery person, your route person. Uh, 
Each route person for both companies has an electronic handheld device. They put the orders directly into. It saves on time and ensures accuracy. Uh, or you can send them in by email, telephone, or fax. Uh, giving orders directly to the delivery person is the preferred method, but we have all these options available for you. You can use your key card, the safe purchasing card. Of course, counties and cities can use their cards as well. There's no minimum order requirement. If you want to, if you see a new product you're not sure about and you want to sample, contact your contract manager and they'll see if they can get a sample to you quickly so you can see exactly what you're ordering. We'll be able to, each vendor will be able to accept PeopleSoft purchase orders, but if you don't use PeopleSoft, any other established PO form that gets all the basics can and will be accepted. Uh, the contract is also made available to municipalities, counties, county jails, uh, public schools, cities, townships, and other political subdivisions within the state of Georgia. The contract is not available to any private organization, company, or enterprise. So uh, Joe's Plumbing Company can't buy bread at the statewide crisis. All right. So here are the uh, six categories and how they're divided out. Flowers Baking Company was awarded uh, what we call day-old bread, sliced sandwich loaves. There's numerous, numerous uh, types in there. Day-old bread is sometimes called stale bread, but it is still within ex expiration date. Day-old bread is classified as having been put out on a retail shelf uh, in a grocery store like Publix or Ingalls or Kroger, uh, Piggly Wiggly, therefore and uh, taken off the shelf and, and delivered uh, to agencies that are at greatly reduced price. Uh, but the bread, again, is still within its expiration date, uh, but still good to eat. Also, cakes, snack cakes, honey buns, donuts, sweet rolls, pies, pastries, and et cetera. Earth Grains Baking Company have been awarded four categories, fresh baked bread, sliced sandwich loaves, also, buns for hamburger, hot dog, sometimes called wiener, hoagie, steak, sandwich rounds, English split, pork muffins, bagels, croissants, and tortillas. Also, sandwich rolls, like the sub rolls, sliced and some are unsliced, and dinner rolls, sheeted, non-sliced, uh, including brown and served. All right, so on slide seven, what the Department of Administrative Services here at State Purchasing is wanting to do is make ordering fast and easy. So we've designed our call sheet, which will be in the next couple of slides, on Team Georgia Marketplace to, uh, to be the easiest to read and to order from that, uh, that we've created here today. Uh, and again, we have all of the ways that you can order. So over. When you go into Team Georgia Marketplace, if you're not registered, go to doas.ga.gov website and you can register. It's free. When you open up Team Georgia Marketplace, just up in the right-hand column with the big red arrow is, you'll see a, a search function. Just type in bread. And it'll come up. And then the pricing will be on the web. You'll see the second big red arrow, that's where the price sheet will be. You open up this hyperlink and there's all the ordering instructions and the pricing and contact information. This webinar is recorded and will be on the DOAS website for you to review, print off, uh, listen to it again, uh, refer to, but all this information will also be within Team Georgia Marketplace. So let's go to the next slide. We have um, four tasks in an Excel worksheet that will be in Team Georgia Marketplace. The first tab, sample ordering instructions, who to contact for what. Tab two, core line items showing the 46 core items. 
tab three, non-core products, of which there's 93, and tab four, list of suppliers, district managers, regional managers, and the other contact information close to where your facility is. This is what you'll see when you open up Team Georgia Marketplace. This is a little uh, miniature version. It will be full size. On the left, in the gold, is how to order products from Flowers Baking Company. There's four easy steps. One, place order directly with your route person. Two, you can uh, email in, call, fax. So we have all the contact information for Mr. Steve Archer. There on the left, under the orange headings is Earth Grains. We have the exact same ordering instructions. The ordering instructions for both companies are exactly the same. You just send it to different people. And we have contact, customer service, and uh, something that's very important we've just added is at the bottom of each of these, if you order on a certain day, when are you going to get the bread? So we have it here. It's four days after you order. Uh, please note, flowers, baking, and earth grains are a little different because they have different production schedules. But this would be right on order. If I place the order on Monday, when do I get it? Right, next slide. What we've done here is we've blown it up to make it easier to read. Again, on the left in gold is flowers. On the right is Earth Rings Baking Company. All right. Uh, one quick thing I want to add at the very bottom. Uh, flowers in the lower left-hand corner. Cake products. You need to give seven days, at least seven days advance delivery. And for non-core items, again, you need to give seven days. So anything on the core uh, item list is a four-day production schedule. Uh, both of the suppliers of the bakeries are here in the state of Georgia, employing local Georgians, and uh, so we can deliver fast and fresh. Slide, slide 12, if you just click on tab 2 on the uh, Excel spreadsheet, you'll see how the core items will look. Four items cost sheet. On the left-hand side, we have line number. The products are denoted by the line number, one, two, three, four, five. The category that it falls in, six easy categories. Then the description, the brand, the pack, the price, the list price, the state contract price, which will be in bold. To the right of each category is the supplier for that category. Again, there's a hyperlink. You just click on the hyperlink. It takes you right to the ordering instructions. And to the right of that, we've gone ahead and listed the NIGP code for those list of products. So we've tried to make it as easy to order as possible. At the bottom, you'll go over to tab 3. And we'll have the non-core items cost sheet. See, there's an extensive list here. The same way, we have non-core line items. Uh, we have the category, the name, what it is, you need to measure, cost, supplier name, again, with a hyperlink, and the NIGT code out beside it. All right, resources. We have here uh, State Procurement Help Desk. I've tried to make the number as large as I can. And, of course, we have an email. And uh, feel free to call in. Uh, the help desk is, as it says, very helpful, uh, very professionally trained people, live people you talk to. It can help you through the process uh, 8 through 5, Monday through Friday, except state holidays. Uh, with us, I also want to introduce Mr. Brian Stewart. Can you say hello? Hello, everyone. Brian is uh, the money man. And uh, I'll make his contact information available on the ordering instructions as well. We also have on the ordering instructions way for your agency to pay by electronic funds transfer, or ACH. All the instructions, the name of the bank, 
the account number so you need to contact to make payment that way easy. So let's go over to uh, the next slide, which is just a summary. Again, we have two suppliers awarded by categories. Two categories to flowers baking and uh, four categories to earth grains baking. Go live date is June 1. If you go to Team Georgia Marketplace today, you will not be able to see this because we don't want someone to accidentally place an order because they see it there. But it will be live. You'll be able to see it at least a week before it goes live. Now, once again, we have all the contact information. We have my contact on the contract manager for state purchasing on the left, Andy Penny. Supplier's contact information, again, Steve Archer, Flowers Baking, Siobhan Daniels, and there's uh, also an Angie Bell for Earth Grains that's in the office. Siobhan is usually out and about in the field. And uh, then the next slide we have is questions and answers. So do we have any questions from the participants? Write your questions in. Okay. Do these companies supply home use bread with fiber? Yes. Both companies do supply 100% whole wheat with fiber. Also, both companies, very good question, um, apply or are certified with the Buy American Act. So any federally funded school lunches uh, would be approved. And also each of the whole grains listed have at least 51% whole grain, which is also a requirement of uh, the federal standards for school lunches. Our next question. Currently, Earth Grain has routes that are owned by individuals that take the order and deliver it. If there is a problem with the current route, man, root man, route, what can be done about getting him taken off the route? I'll let uh, offline, I'll put you in contact with uh, Ms. Siobhan Daniels, and uh, she'll answer that directly with you. In the past, the courier delivered us the bread and pre-ordered the bread to restock storage. Will this same method occur for new contracts? I'm sorry? In the past, the courier delivered us the bread and pre-ordered the bread to restock storage. Will this same method occur for the new contract? Uh, yes. Can we get a copy of these slides? Yes. Yes, they'll be available on the DOAS website uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday the 24th. Along with an audio. Along with an audio. Huh? Okay. We want to compare pricing now. How can we see it? Um, send me a request for the email that's uh, provided in this slide, and I'll forward you a, a copy of the price list. Okay. Um, you won't place an order yet? Okay. Can we purchase from this discount store in our local area? If you purchase from the discount store, it'd be the discount store pricing. It'd be the discount store pricing, but you that, that would be the only discount you would get ever what? Price has been stored, and you'll have to pay COD. Yes. So the statewide contract pricing does not apply to bread purchased from the uh, day old stores. Okay. Well, either or both of these companies deliver throughout the state. I have 28 DJJ facilities and would like to use one vendor. Uh, yes, it, both suppliers will deliver within their categories statewide uh, to each of the facilities. Uh, 
within the product categories that they are awarded. Okay. What if you are already in a contract with Earth Rain? Is that a municipality? Kind of schools? Yeah, that's kind of cool. uh, Earth Rain uh, has assured me that if someone is currently a customer and they order from the statewide contract, they will be allowed to use the statewide contract pricing, even though you're a current customer. Where can we get nutritional um, products available to determine if they meet our needs since we are about to enter the bid process for the school lunch program? Good question. Uh, please just send a, me an email, and I'll have your contact information and I'll reply with all the nutritional facts, specifications for the bread. Those will also be printed as separate tabs on the ordering uh, instruction sheet. Does this have any effect on ordering frozen bread from food vendors? No. Good question. The question is, does this contract affect any frozen bread purchases? Frozen bread is not included on this contract. Uh, each agency should go through their own solicitation process with uh, any supplier they wish. It, it will not infringe upon this contract. Can we get the list of 46 core items on the bid before bid opening day? Yes. Again, just send me, Andy Pennock, an email, and I will reply with that list. We currently purchase hot dogs and hamburger buns from Flowers Baking. After June 1, 2013, will we still be able to purchase these items from Flowers Baking? If they are fresh bread, uh, these items need to be purchased from the water supplier Earth Grains. If, if, this is a statewide mandatory contract. The reason is we have been able to negotiate the best pricing on the products across the board for the whole state. Do you have do you have to do anything special to order of the contract, or do we just contact the company and go from there? All you need is the ordering instructions and the contract number, and you can place an order. As a, this will be in King Georgia Marketplace as a static sheet in the workbook. Uh, it's not going to have pictures where you add to cart, but you'll be able to order directly off of the hosted uh, ordering sheet in TGM. But they can place orders today right now by all of the Until June 1st. Until June 1st. Okay. Again, the question was, can we place orders now? Uh, we can place orders as of June 1, 2013, with either supplier. Okay, Jessica is confirming the um, web link. So is it procurementhelp at doas.gov? It's doas.gov. Yeah. I believe it's both. Um, can you please tell me the email again to request the price list? A uh, very good question. That is Andy dot P E N I C K at D O A S dot G A dot gov. Will bread orders come from Durst Baking Company, in which they are associated with FlowersBaking dot com? Yes, Durst Baking. Uh, is owned and operated by Flowers Baking Company. And uh, if, if you've ordered Flowers products in the past, you would get the same brand names that you're accustomed to in your area as they have bakeries throughout the state. Also, in the product definition, you'll see the term clear bag, and that that's what that is. It's just a clear bag with no printing, no brand name on it at all. It's an institutional bag. But each of the product descriptions will list 
whether you're getting a sun green bread, uh, bread or colonial bread. Can you review his email address so that we may email him today? Let's go, uh, can, you, can you pull up the screen? It's near the end. Yes. All right. To reconfirm my email address, it's on uh, slide 16, which we're going to show you there in just a moment. I'm on the left under DOAS contract information, Andy Pinnock. And you'll see andy.penick at doas.pa.gov. You also have my phone number there that rings directly to my desk. Will the companies have all our individual school addresses? No. Yes. Uh, send. You can send me, and I'll copy Siobhan Daniels. You can send them uh, with a copy to Siobhan. Uh, it, is, it is permissible to contact the suppliers prior to the contract to make sure you're set up. In fact, I highly recommend this, that each facility or school is set up prior to trying to order so there's no delay. Um, but you can contact each of the suppliers today if you wish about the contract. We just can't place orders. But you can contact any of the suppliers uh, to, set, to set your entity, facility, agency up. Okay. Can school systems put their own bread bid out for the next school year, or do they have to use the statewide contract? This is a good question, very good question. The statewide mandatory contract is for state is mandatory for state agencies, such as Department of Corrections, Department of Juvenile Justice, universities like University of Georgia, technical colleges. It is not mandatory, however, for county school systems. However, we have attempted to make this contract very, very open for the school system so that you don't have to be run to the federal channel to make this a very easy and open contract. So we really would prefer and hope that you all will need this contract. If there's something wrong with the contract, please let us know. We can always amend it. Very good. This is uh, Clarence Ingram. He's the group category manager for goods. And um, he's just pointing out again that even though it's not mandatory for counties or municipalities, it is made available to you to use as convenience. A side note on that is the Department of Administrative Services State Purchasing uh, has researched and developed the solicitation over a six month period of time and we believe we've come up with the best contract pricing and easiest ordering system uh, available of any state especially for the state of Georgia, and, uh, but you are not mandated to order because you purchase from your county sales tax funds and the state agencies uh, purchase bread from state tax funds. And we can tell them about how you uh, coordinate with DOE and incorporate all the nutrition requirements. Yes. A uh, very good comment here from my colleague, Billy Gilbert. In the solicitation process, um, we have requested information and received great input from the Department of Education. And Ms. Shirley Tidwell was on the cross-functional team, and uh, we ran by all of the nutritional information in regards to federal funding. So every public school system uh, in the state of Georgia can be assured that the products listed on the core list meet all the federal requirements as far as grams, uh, whether it's essential, fortified, and of course we will make those uh, available. But we have worked hand in hand, we believe, with the Department of Education to assure that ordering these products would meet or exceed 
any federal or state guidelines for nutritional needs for children. Okay. So when when do we order from flour baking and what do we order from them? Do we just order day old items from them? Good question. If you are a current customer of Flowers Baking, you still order from Flowers Baking under the current contract. When the contract, the new contract goes live on June 1, you may purchase day old bread, of which there's a, a large category listing in the ordering list from them, cakes and snacks and pastries. Any fresh baked bread, uh, if you're a state agency, college or university, must be purchased from the new supplier, Earth Grants. It's close to the end. Here's the summary, and on the right you'll see winner, that means they won the award as being the lowest price. Day old bread, sliced sandwich loaves, uh, flowers bakery, that includes square cut, round top, watermark, all grain, honey wheat, every kind you can think of for flowers. Fresh baked bread, meaning it has not been put out to retail and taken off the shelf yet. Uh, is from Earth Grains, Buns for Hamburgers, Hot Dogs is Earth Grains, Sandwich Rolls is Earth Grains, Dinner Rolls is Earth Grains, Cakes, Snack Cakes, Honey Buns, is, and so forth is Flowers Bakery. Good question. I'm sorry? All right. We have no more questions showing. We'll give just a moment. Or if you have one last question, uh, tap in. Uh, Clarence, do you have any closing remarks? No. Um, I'm happy that we were able to find two suppliers that could supply basically all the categories that we needed. Um, the pricing is attractive. The delivery systems are going to be good. And he's done a great job. If you all have any questions, he's the issuing officer, but we have two suppliers who can answer their questions as well as their distributions. But you know, I'm looking forward to June versus yeah, June first. And I'd love to see the spin, especially from our locals and our municipalities really go up, that would be great. I think we put the specifications that you all need into place. So I'm really hoping uh, you know, that we're giving you all the product that you can use. At the end of the day, that's what we get judged on is usage. But it was a great, great team effort. And, um, looking forward, but feel free again. If you have questions even after this webinar, please call Ms. Sandy Brennan. Call myself. That's what we're here for. All right, very good. Thank you for your attendance. Um, and this meeting is concluded. <laughs>